we are with Mr. Koppel, the president of Yumabaya, the new elected uh, president. Uh, congratulations, firstly. Uh, Yumabaya has appointed a new board in this last September. So, can you please tell us if there would be any new strategies to be adopted? Oh, the strategy of Yumabaya was always to make the idea of Yumabaya more public and more global. And that's also a very important aspect for us, the new board which is consisting of people working very hard already in the woodworking industry. And we want to convey the message made in Europe, what is behind made in Europe. There are essential things like productivity of the equipment, like flexibility, but first of all, very high quality, worth the price what we are taking for our machines. Okay, so what will be the main focus for 2017? Yeah, 2017, first of all, Yumabwa is representing more than 800 companies out of Europe. And the important aspect is that we want to strengthen Made in Europe. Yeah? That we want to strengthen the idea of Yumabwa, of have what we can export then to the world. Because Europe is definitely the center of gravity once it comes to woodworking industry, to wood, to furniture, to constructural elements made out of wood. And these, the, this know-how is in Europe and we want to export exactly this know-how to everywhere in the world. And there, Yumabwa is a facilitator to do this. Okay, so how has been 2016 for Yumabwa? Oh, we are quite, we are quite happy not for Yumabwa, but for our associations, yeah, because Yumabwa, as I said already, is representing more than 800 companies and associations, and exactly they are successful. There's a certain growth, there's a good growth in Germany, there's a good growth in Italy, but also in Eastern Europe and Western Europe. And this is really the important aspect. We have to facilitate the business of our associations and of our 800 companies being organized in Yumabwa and we were very successful in 2016. Okay, that's great. And coming to India, like the Asian market is in, is in a very good growth rate. So, how do you think, that? do you have any plans to consider more on the Asian market? You know, Europe, I don't want to say it is a settled market, but there is there are not the big growth rates anymore in Europe. Where are today the growth rates? They are in Asia. They are in Asia, first of all, due to the fact that the people will invest even more money into furniture. Yeah? So the average investment into furniture per, uh, per uh, inhabitant yeah, in, the, in the world is 44 euros. Yeah? It was in 2015. In India, it's only 5 euros. In China, it's only 20 euros. So if you imagine that these two countries with 1.3 billion people living in the countries come to the same level as the average of the world, yeah, it is a multiplied by 8 for India or it's multiplied uh, by 2 coming, uh, talking about China. So it's a great potential and we have to facilitate this potential and we have to help our companies in Europe to explore this potential. So definitely Asia is one of the focus in 2017, but honestly speaking, if we are talking today, it will be a, a growth potential for the next three, four, five years to come. So coming to Dalywood, what are your expectations from this show and if you can tell us about your participation as well? Yeah, okay, Yumabwa, a lot of the Yumabwa companies are participating already and Yumabwa together with PDA we are organizing the show. We gave the name together with PDA to the show like Daily Wood or the Bangalore show like India Wood. That was very, very important. And India deserved a show like this, like the Bangalore show, like India Wood. And due to the fact that we have such a huge country, yeah, it's a subcontinent, it goes without saying that a second show in the northern part is required. And Daily Wood is exactly the right place to be, Daily. That is one of the center and we are very happy that PDA developed the show so well and by doing so we have now a very interesting platform for us coming from Europe but also for the customers coming to a place like the Daily, uh, the Daily Wood or like the show here in Delhi.
So for us, it's a win-win situation and I think the customers coming here are exactly reflecting this by being so crowded on the second day. Okay, so coming to Delhiwood once again and as you have said, like we can find a lot of demand of made in Europe technologies here in India. So talking about that, if you can tell us how do you manage to cope up with the price difference that is there between the local and regional manufacturers compared to that of the European manufacturers? You know, it is everywhere in the world you will always find somebody doing things cheaper. But cheaper doesn't mean better, yeah? And you know, we are talking about one very simple thing. We, the, the, the producers in Europe, they are definitely not the cheapest. We have also differences inside Europe. However, there is a great, a great know-how in Europe. And this know-how is worth the money. We are investing into research and development. We are investing into modern production. We are investing into quality. And these things are advantages we want to give to our customers. The European manufacturers are giving to the customers. By, making, by giving them these advantages, they are more productive, they are more flexible, they are more quality oriented, and they are more sustainable. So in the long term, it doesn't pay back to have cheap tools or cheap uh, machines. There has to be a certain quality standard and this quality standard is, is set by the companies coming from Europe and it is worth the price. If the machine is gone after two, three years, yeah, because the quality is not good, yeah, it is too expensive under the line if you have to reinvest all the time. Or talking about tooling, if you use tooling which are not creating the right quality at the final workpiece, yeah? Yeah, then you will lose your customer in the long term. Or it, even if you all, all the time have to renew the tooling, you have the problem that you have to invest, 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 and under the line, it is more expensive to use cheap tooling. And that's a message what we want to convey and what we are conveying, and more and more customers are picking up exactly this message. Yes, and uh, this will be almost similar question to that, but uh, talking about the Chinese manufacturers and the Chinese market, what would be your view on that? The Chinese market, first of all, it's a very interesting market. Yeah, As I said, 1.38 billion people living in China and it's a great internal market. So it's an interesting market for us from Europe to be present there. Yeah to sell goods. It goes without saying that there are, are some things which we don't like so much in China, especially once our technology is copied. It's easy to copy a technology, but it is not so easy to copy processes, to copy quality, or to copy also then the advanced know-how in the whole process. And thanks God it is not so easy. Yeah? It is people, for example, like lights, 140 years of lights, all the know-how was developed. This, this know-how you cannot uh, copy very simple. However, there are also good companies in, in China. I see some manufacturers who are doing an excellent job by also developing on their own. So we will see also strong Chinese companies. And that's very important. Competition is very important but it has to be fair competition. And they are copying, yeah, that's not very good. And therefore, we always said, choose the or original. Under the line, it's cheaper. <laughs> yes. Now that uh, coming, uh, going back to Europe once again, Ligna is coming up in a few months, and it is the biggest of all the woodworking shows, as we all know. So do, does Zimbabwe have any special plans for Ligna? <laughs> Yeah. Yumabwa, yes, we have our plans, but very important is what are the plans of our companies organized in Yumabwa? And for the Ligna, talking about the Ligna, the Ligna is the biggest, the biggest show in, in the world, yeah, once we are talking about woodworking machinery and related industries. So the people have to be there, and once you want to see big industrial machines, you can then see them only in Ligna because it's simply too, too, too expensive to export them everywhere in the world for just shows. Yeah? So therefore, the Ligna is a place to be yeah? and Yumabwa will facilitate the whole thing 
with the press conferences we are giving, with the support we are giving. Yeah. However, the important aspect is that the final customers coming from all over the world to the Ligna, that they see the advanced technologies, that they see the advanced processes. And if we are honest, it is mainly the companies in Europe that can show exactly these advanced technologies, these advanced processes, things like Industry 4.0, all these new things, these trends, they are created very often in Europe, not always, but very often in Europe. And that's very important. And therefore, the Ligna in May is a place to be to see the newest and latest trends. Yes, I am very tempted to ask one thing talking about Industry 4.0. Now that automation is taking a major part of our industry, what happens to the traditional wood carving industry? Do you think, how do you think like it would be beneficial for them? Or the, the point is very simple. You know, automation is required where a human being is doing things which they are shall not do. Taking boards from A to B, which are very heavy, yeah, or having very heavy, um, heavy construction elements and bring them from A to B, or making the interlink between processes. That doesn't make sense, yeah. Once we are talking about industrial business, but there are also very interesting area where always the handmade uh, things are important, and therefore the handcrafters still have. Their, um, their, their place to be. However, the combination of handcraft together with a certain uh, degree of automation, that's very important. So simply automa uh, automation and forgetting about the rest, that's, that's completely wrong. Yeah? And we have to think about where is automation good, where is, for example, software good, and where simply the craftsman knowing exactly how to treat the wood yeah, is important. And we have to give these guys the freedom by putting automation where the automation can facilitate their life. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Koppel. And we hope to meet each other once again during Ligna. And we wish you a very warm and good stay in India as well. Thank you. Thank you very much for the interview and looking forward to meet you during Ligna again. Thank you. Thank you.